So the watch just clicked 99k. That means I've got one more K to do and we're done. So today is the day, I'm off to London to do the 100 kilometer um, relay race in collaboration with Pro Direct Running and Nike. It's currently 6 a.m. Um, I've got to be there for 8, 8.30, so plenty of time. Um, I decided to drive down to Regent's Park today just because I've got a base for the, for the day because we're going to be down there for about six, seven hours in total. I'm really excited to meet the likes of Becky, Philly, Tom, Dan, um, to name a few that are taking part today, yeah, it's going to be wicked. Some proper professional athletes. Um, it'd be nice to see how they approach the day um, compared to me, who's, who's going to be running around with a camera. So yeah, if I do chuck a camera in your face um, and you're watching this now, apologies. But yeah, without further ado, let's hit the road and yeah, get down to London. Want to, want to So yeah, we're all down here this morning. We've got the Pro Direct van behind us, which has got all shoes and stuff in, which is pretty cool. Um, we're just about to do a little bit of a warm up, and then I believe Becky is starting us off. Um, she's going off at half nine to start the 100 kilometer relay. We're going to be running around with a baton, a green baton, which has um, a brand new uh, Phoenix 7 uh, Garmin watch on it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, 800 pound watch on a stick. Um, we're basically going to be running around the, the outer perimeter of Regent's Park um, with a film crew, got a guy on the bike with a GoPro. So yeah, it'll be a good day. I'm excited to get started. Um, we're just going to have a little bit of a briefing and then, yeah, Becky will be the first out of the blocks. So Nike came with us with a bit of a surprise because we told them what we were doing. Oh, I just want to send you and um, we managed to get... Oh, Paula Radcliffe to send oh, wow. us a little message. Hi everyone, I just wanted to send you a quick message to all six of you in the Nike Ekiden relay team. I wanted to wish you the very best of luck. I know you've got an upcoming attempt very soon on the 100 kilometer Ekiden relay world record. I know you have it in you. It's a very, very tough challenge as I'm sure you're well aware, but I know that you will have prepared and just stick together as a team, enjoy the experience. You'll come through it stronger and hopefully with a world record at the end of it. So the very best of luck from me. Mm. Cheers, Paula. There we go! Wicked. Uh, <laughs> easy for us to say in Monaco, isn't it? <laughs> She's not here in Regent's um, Park in January. So, without further ado, are you, are you right? You'll be fine. I know the easy legs actually are <laughs> really quite scary, pressure. but we'll, um, we'll get started. Yeah? All it's just right. another, another, another run in the... Uh, it's just a nice tempo effort around Regent's Park on a yeah. sunny January day. So we're all ready, everyone's set behind me. Becky's just doing her last stride with the baton and then we're going to go. Start the 100 kilometres. We're a, bit, a little bit later than intended. Um, but yeah, the van's here now, so we've got a nice base. Here she is, walk it, warming up. And she's going to be ready to go in just about 30 seconds. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this thing started. Just getting the watch ready. the 100 kilometer world record attempt. Three, two, one. Let's go back in. Just in my warm up now, I'm doing the second leg. Um, I'm running in the opposite direction to Becky. So hopefully I can catch her um, and see how she's getting on. Oh, talking of her, here she is. And then Becky, keep going. How you doing? All good? She's locked into pace. Thank you. 
So I'm into my second kilometre now, averaging around 315 per kilometre pace, running around central London. It's a really surreal feeling. Got the baton for the team, and at the moment we're on pace. Let's keep this going. So I just went through 5k on my 13 kilometre leg in just over 16 minutes. Settled into a nice pace. Just gotta keep this going. There you go. There's the Phoenix. 315 a K. Let's keep this going. So we're just coming through onto my last lap. I've been joined by Julian, right? Yeah. He's joined me for the last lap and a half. Done guys, lovely. Beautiful. Cheers guys. There you go, team support. On to the last lap. Good luck, mate. Cheers, Good luck. Go on, Tom! Go on, Tom! And Tom, how you getting on? How's it going? Yeah. All good? In there now. Last little bit. Last little bit. Yeah. Billy's all ready for you. It's a bit wet. Is it? Very sweaty. Let's go. Well, Billy, did you? Do you want me to have a look? Yeah, I think it both was, but it's back now, it's fine. Keep going. Have fun. Woo! I think she accidentally paused the watch there, but started it again. I'm not sure if it was paused or if she just pressed lap, but a little bit of drama. Um, hopefully we're still on. Cool. That was fast. I'm gonna have to do another leg later. Whew, time to rest, I think. Righty ho, after that drama with Philly there, hopefully she's got the baton and then it's, it's still running, but I think she may have accidentally pressed either lap or pause. Um, so she quickly handed it to me and I, I figured out um, what, what was going on and managed to get it going again. So hopefully it was only paused for maybe a couple of seconds, if any. I think she'd probably just press lap, but it had changed the sort of watch face to, to the map. Um, but anyway, she's, she's off on her lap, she's doing... Uh, three laps now, her 13 kilometer um, leg. And then I believe it's on to Katie. Um, but yeah, I'm just having a little look. Um, had a lovely little latte, courtesy of ProDirect. So yeah, thank you, Katie. Just having a little look on Strava now. Um, my leg was 13.39 kilometers, and I averaged 314 per kilometer, which is uh, is quicker than my 10k pace. Um, so yeah, it just goes to show what, what a camera and a bit of support um, along the way. I had a bike um, following me with it, with the camera on the first lap, and then um, yes, yeah, a, a subscriber, Julian, I believe, came and joined me for nearly a lap as well. Let's so, yeah, see if I can get the Strava link up here. So there we go, yeah, 13.38 kilometers in 43 minutes. Wow, I'm really chuffed with that. Let's see if it's given me my 10K time. Yeah, second fastest 10K, 31.59. So I actually broke 32 minutes for the 10K in, in that run. That is absolutely mad. I knew I was feeling good, but I didn't know I had that in me this morning. Let's see if I can sort of maintain that pace for my second leg, which will be at three o'clock, so another three hours time. But um, yeah, it's going really well so far. Having a great day out. It was definitely a good idea to bring the car down to Regent's Park, um, so I've got a little bit of a base. So I'm just running around to see if I can find Philly, um, see if we can get the changeover. She's gonna be passing the baton off to Katie um, from Pro Direct. She's the lady who's been organizing this alongside Tom. So yeah, if you guys are watching this, I just wanna say a massive thank you. Um, for organizing this for inviting me along it's been an absolute pleasure um still got a leg to go though so hopefully i've got enough in the legs but you'll see if we can find philly um she's coming around onto her last lap of three feeling good yeah, you 
nearly there. It's quite windy. It is on this, especially on this bit, isn't it? Yeah. How many k's does it say? 57.48 Perfect I'm going to let you go, have fun See you later mate He is fast. Not every day you get to run alongside Dan Jarvis. Incredible. Here comes Dan, going on to lap two. Absolutely cruising along. Nice, well done, Dan. Keep it up. Meow. <laughs> How'd you get on, Dan? My oh, last one was tough. It's a long I way, isn't it? Stitcher, like, on my last K, like coming up the hill, I was like, oh no, it's that vegan <laughs> bar. <laughs> Like, like, it's like hill, but like an incline. Yeah. Don't blame the vegan bar. <laughs> maybe I just... Maybe I just 503. 503? Wow. Oh, 503, what's that? Team K. <laughs> oh, it's just a healthy time. I don't know. Oh. I kept on... The watch kept, the watch kept on beeping like, like 305, mm. 304. When's your next leg? You've only got about an hour, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've had the hardest leg because everyone else has had like people doing like long legs for yeah. recovery. And I'm at the last long leg. And now you've got to so do a 9k as well, yeah. or is it a 7? Oh, oh that's a 6, yeah, it's a good oh, I don't no, know. I'm on a double lap, so 9k. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, everyone's on like these one lap ones now, like two lap yeah. ones, so they're probably just getting a bit shorter. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. How are you feeling? Just, just one lap, yeah? Yeah, just one. Here comes Tom. Go on, Tom! The arm is outstretched. Oh! Katie receives. Well done, Katie. Off and away. How'd you find that, mate? Well done. Good job. Legs are so fatigued, but you know, like the first two k. Yeah. Been all right. And you get towards the end of that last, that last lap, and you pop out. And you know, it's just like your quads, your hammies. Everything's, everything's knackered. Screaming. Yeah. yeah. How far did you? Was that second leg? Um. Yeah. How far was it? Last k. Yeah. Um, I don't know what average pace was to be fair. Oh, you got it done. How are the yeah. shoes? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what you said about the Apple Fry, like, they're not maybe the most comfortable shoe of all yeah. the time. Like when you first put them on, people talk about the prominent arch and, and that yep. kind of thing. But there's no doubt that they're the most protective. Yeah, shoe out there. 100%. My legs feel tired, but maintaining the same pace feels fairly effortless in, in the Apple Fry, yeah. to be honest. Where you know, even shoes like the Vapor Fly, um, you, you have to give a lot more effort. Yeah, to, that's to that exactly how I, yeah. I find the difference between the two. Oh, yeah. well, well done. You're yeah. done now. Yeah. Go get yeah. some more, more clothes on. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done, guys. The ultimate transition of the day. Dan's off. Go on, Dan. One more lap! Woo! <laughs> okay, so here it is, the last leg of the day. I'm just waiting for Dan Jarvis, of all people. I'm going to be taking the baton off him. Um, and my role today is just to take the baton, which has a watch on it, to the 100k distance. So it should be around eight kilometers left of running, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, he's just on his last lap now. I'm going to take the baton off him. And yeah, take the, ho the team home for the 100 kilometer distance. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. So it's at 92 kilometers now. So that means I've just got over seven kilometers to go. Here we go. So 
So the watch just clicked 99k. That means I've got one more K to do and we're done. Final push. Come on. Kilometers exactly. Wow. Well done. Nice Perfect. Do we want to do any like? <laughs> Three, two, one. Yay! So there we go. I made it home from my day out in London with Pro Direct. Massive thank you for having me. The shoes were incredible. I wore the Alpha Flies. We had the choice between the Vaporfly and the Alpha Fly in the Ecadent colorway. They're available on Pro Direct. So if you, yeah, if you like the shoes and you want to go check them out, then you can do so via the link below. But yeah. Awesome day out. Thank you very much, Pro Direct. Um, I'm going to do a little video reviewing the shoes and a sort of recap on my legs. The sort of a race recap, if you like, tomorrow. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, as always, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you with another one soon. Bye bye.